Javier Miliai endorsed by defeated rival who once sued him for defamation that defeated Argentinian presidential candidate Patricia Bullrich, who came third in Sunday's election, has endorsed the libertarian firebrand Javier Miliai for next month's runoff vote. Bullrich took 23.8% of the vote in the first round, finishing third behind the surprise frontrunner, the economy minister, Sergio Massa, who won 36.7%, and Miliai, who took just over 30%. Argentina puts a limit on madness as resurgent Peronists stall Miley's rise. Read more. The country needs a fundamental change, Bullrich said on Wednesday, warning against a continuation of the worst government in history, a reference to Massa's Union por la Patria alliance, led by the former president and current vice president Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner. Fernandez de Kirchner has been in office as either president or vice president for 12 of the last 20 years and her now-deceased husband Nestor Kirchner was president before her in 2003-07 The urgency of the moment forces us not to be neutral, Bullrich told reporters. Argentina cannot start a new Kirchnerist cycle headed by Sergio Massa. Bullrich's comments came as her alliance juntos por el cambio, together for change, split into its three constituent parties. While the former security minister pledged to set aside her differences with Miley, Elisa Cario, of the Civic Coalition Party, said she remained horrified by Miley's policy positions, including the legalization of the organ trade, potentially the sale of children and the dollarization of Argentina's economy, which Cario has warned would open the country's financial markets to drug cartels. We are not going to jump into the void to sell organs, because it violates human rights, we do not agree with the sale of children and the legalization of drug trafficking, all of this is going to lead to crimes against humanity, said Cario. A third part of the alliance, the centrist radical party, also declared itself against Bullrich's new ally, saying in a statement that the demagogic extremism of Javier Miley is at the antipodes of our thinking. The radical party chief, Gerardo Morales, said he had felt embarrassed by Bullrich's decision. If Miley can add the 24% of votes obtained by Bullrich on Sunday to his own 30% he will have enough to defeat Massa. But Massa is hoping to steal votes from Bullrich and Miley from supporters disenchanted with their alliance. Bullrich hails from a patrician family and has held cabinet posts and legislative seats in various governments, representing the very political establishment Miley had vowed to extirpate. It is also doubtful if Bullrich's conservative supporters can stomach the unorthodox Miley. But such political malleability comes naturally to the 67-year-old politician whose first step into politics was as a teenage member of the left-wing Montaneros guerrilla group. Bullrich has at different times represented the Peronist Party, the centrist radicals and various conservative alliances. During the 2023 election campaign Miley dragged up her guerrilla past, accusing Bullrich of planting bombs in kindergartens. Bullrich responded by suing for defamation. Asked at Wednesday's press conference about the confrontation, Bullrich said she had forgiven Miley and was dropping legal charges. Miley for his part claimed that what he had meant to say was that she threw a bomb in a garden where there was a child. A poll published on Wednesday by the anti-Kirchner Daily Clarin showed Massa and Miley running neck and neck in the runoff, with Miley at 41.6% and Massa at 40.4%, with a 2.4-point margin of error. The November runoff could be marked by strong absenteeism, with 10.4% saying they would not vote and 7.5% undecided, not everyone can afford to pay for the news right now. That's why we choose to keep our journalism open for everyone to read. If this is you, please continue to read for free. But if you can, then here are three good reasons to make the choice to support us today from Pakistan. 1. Our quality, investigative journalism is a scrutinizing force at a time when the rich and powerful are getting away with more and more. 2. We are independent and have no billionaire owner controlling what we do, so your money directly powers our reporting. 3. It doesn't cost much and takes less time than it took to read this message. Choose to power The Guardian's journalism for years to come, whether with a small sum or a larger one.